What's been the conversation around the draft about the one and dones and what the NBA needs to do to fix things in the uh, the light of what was going on and still is uh, in courts in the FBI, Fran? Well, it's e- it's easy, Rich. Within the next year or two, they're going to do away with one and done, and they're going to we're going to get back to where we were when uh, Carmelo and Dwight Howard and some of the other guys went right to the uh, NBA draft. I'm all for it. You know, we had a great conversation with. Uh, you know, Miles Bridges this morning, the young man from Michigan State, who chose to give up being a lottery pick last year to go back to college. And he said he said to us, he said, I wanted to be a college student. I didn't want to have one foot in the door and one foot out. And when you get a kid that goes to a Duke or a Kentucky or anywhere else where there are one and done, um, essentially you're renting them for about five months. And so now the DeAndre Aytons and the Marvin Bagley's can go right to the NBA out of high school, like the kid at uh, Tampa Catholic who throws 97 miles an hour. You know, he doesn't have to go to Florida State. He can sign with the Cincinnati Reds. And and so I, you're going to see that. The, the one and done is gone uh, by either 20 or 21. And personally, I think it's great because now the kids who go to college, by the way, like Trey Young, who never thought he would be a one and done guy, if he has a great freshman year, he can still come out and uh, explore the waters. And if he didn't have this fabulous a year, he he could have gone back for year two, year three, et cetera. But uh, I think it was a charade to let these kids come to college knowing that they really should have had the opportunity to go right to the league and succeed or fail, which is, you know, in their in their power. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.